everyone welcome back to my channel so i am nice and cozy in one of my favorite sweatshirts this is the ivy house one that i ended up buying off of etsy i love it today is a monday and if you watched my last video i shared with you all how sometimes on mondays i end up doing part of my reset and so that is going to be happening today i have to run the dishwasher clean the kitchen the floors because it is all messy from the meal prepping and everything that we did i'm gonna go ahead and clean that off and today is going to be such a fun chill cozy vlog as per usual we're watching my demon on netflix and you guys if you love romance and fantasy you have to watch it and honestly i'm just gonna see what else i get up to today i am taking a break from work because it is holiday season so with work related things i have new therapy client flow coming in for the new year and set up for that so i want to take some time today and just recenter and have fun just have a nice fun day so we're gonna be spending some time outside also because i ended up buying some native milkweed from our local butterfly center me and my husband ended up going yesterday because i tried it last year but it ended up dying off because i didn't take care of it properly during the winter and i tried my best but we just got a really weird freeze the temperatures dropped really low and it just got really crazy and so when i tried to plant it it was so small that it just didn't survive so i'm going to try to take care of them through the winter now that i know what to do so that way i can hopefully plant them in the spring and have them grow in the butterfly garden but i have to add netting to the little risen box that my husband made so that way caterpillars don't get to it you know and i don't throw off their whole migration process i'm really excited to hang out with you all today and to just have a nice chill time together so get nice and cozy and let's go ahead and get started with this video okay everyone so I want to show you this is what the butterfly garden looks like currently and let me go ahead and show you the milkweed that I ended up buying here it is and so I think there's some aphids on there so I have to go ahead and take care of that and it's really little right now because it's not the season they have to grow but this is the sisote plant so this is our native milkweed here in south texas and so this is the area that i need to go ahead and take care of and put the tarp over and just clear all of this out so i can protect it Bougainvillea back here is also massive. My husband's been trimming it and I've been fertilizing it and it looks so good. So right now if you can see she's currently blooming and it looks beautiful. And also I have my peach tree here behind. I can't wait to see what kind of fruit she gives in the spring. I'm so excited. If you can see we already have some of the first blooms coming in. Okay, so question. Do you all have some favorite comfort movies that you tend to watch during Christmas time or holiday season? Which around this time of year that you end up watching but that isn't like hardcore Christmas or like hardcore holiday season-esque, I guess. Because these are some of mine. Top one for me is Legally Blonde. I love it all year round, don't get me wrong, but especially around this time, I tend to really like to watch it the holiday of course. And also The Devil Wears Prada. This is a double feature, but those tend to be the movies that I still love watching during this time of year that give me all the warm and fuzzy feelings. And so I'm curious, what are some of your favorite movies that maybe aren't like hardcore Christmas or holiday season? Because don't get me wrong, I love those. I love those so much. But right now I feel like watching Legally Blonde. So that is what I'm going to have in the background as my comfort movie while I get to cleaning. My husband said that one of his favorites is Die Hard and he argues that that is a Christmas movie. And listen, Legally Blonde is for me, so it's okay. We're fine, we're okay. You know what I mean? Let me know down in the comments because now I'm curious to know what some of yours are. A big one within my family too is watching The Wizard of Oz. And again, it's not like hardcore Christmas or holiday season, but we love watching it during that time of year.
Okay, you guys, so I ended up running out of staples, but my husband just put in some new ones for me and I covered it up. Not perfect, not the most aesthetic, but it gets the job done for now. And eventually I'll put like some kind of a basket on top of them. But I wanted to show you all. We have two little monarch caterpillar friends here and I don't know if you can see. Hey everyone, not me just spilling my popcorn all over the bed right now <laughs> while I was sitting down. My sister is here and we're watching the K-drama that we were watching in the last video that I shared with you all. So we're currently on episode 6 of My Demon and it is so good. Oh my goodness. I have some popcorn here that apparently I keep spilling. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and eat this while I watch the show. <laughs> Hey everyone, so it's been a couple of days since I last talked to you all. I have no idea how long it's been, but it is the weekend now. I made it to the end of the week. And if you watched my previous video, I did like a little reset routine. So I ended up going through the same morning routine that I did today is Saturday. So me and my husband are back home from the gym and I just had a little pre-workout snack as you saw. And so the plan for right now is to just put on some nostalgia Christmas movies in the background while I get to doing the cleaning and and all of that usual stuff. And I thought that I would talk to you all really quick about the books that I have recently read. Because in the vlogs I showed you guys what I was reading, but I didn't really talk about it too much because I was still reading some of these, but I thought it would be fun to share a quick little summary of each one. And then I'm gonna start a new video because this weekend me and my husband are gonna go ahead and do a lot of like Christmassy related things. Our hometown has a little Christmas festival called the South Pole. You walk around and there's all these beautiful lights. So I thought that would be fun to go to. So the first book that I want to talk to you all is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. Me and my sister buddy read this book and the way we devoured it so fast, it is so good. So picture two rival journalists who work together but loathe each other. So this is an enemies to lovers trope. And in this magical world, there are these gods that have been asleep you know for centuries and have suddenly woken up and they are at odds with each other depending what region you're from and so this war is going on between the people and the gods that they are under what you do get in this book is a lot of letters being written back and forth because there's magical typewriters and you know that the main character is writing to someone I don't want to give away any spoilers but one of my therapy clients recommended this to me and they were right this book was so good the second book is also coming out this month so I cannot wait to read that this was a five out of five star read for me it was so good now let's get into a tall dark trouble by Vanessa Montalban I have a hard time describing this book but it almost felt like a thrilling warm hug at the same time like it had its dark moments but it was just thrilling exciting and funny and relatable now the main characters are cuban american so there is a lot of historical context into events that have taken place in cuba and there's a connection there throughout the book but the main characters in this book are two twin sisters 18 year old delphi and Layla, and they have magical powers so it will give you all of the witchy vibes it is so good and this book is a really great standalone i left this book feeling satisfied like yes i wanted to know more but also i was good with how it ended and 
throughout this book you're getting three different POVs of each sister and then also of another character back in 1980 Scuba and so you're getting to see the connection between the past and the present and I love when books do that I love that so much there is some love interest so you're getting a little bit of romance but honestly this book is mostly about the mother daughter and sister relationship and I love books like that especially that relationship but also a little bit of romance magic betrayal mystery that they're going around trying to solve because local brujos are being murdered and this book for me was a 4.5 star and i think it would have been a five for me if there would have been more romance but i still love that it was more focused on the mother daughter and sister relationship so yeah if you're looking for something cozy and thrilling and magical with latina representation this book is incredible and then next up we have my baby angel this book has made it to one of my favorite books ever of all time and it's the fall of wit rivera by crystal maldonado this is the first book that i've ever read that has a main character who has pcos i have pcos so reading that kind of representation in this book i can't even put into words like within the first five pages i was tearing up just reading what this main character was sharing this deals with the heavy topic that is pcos because if you know you know pcos freaking sucks it's horrible it was beyond beautiful because because the author herself also has PCOS so you have an author who knows exactly what it's like and you could tell as you were reading this you were like yes so relatable I understand this lived experience but at the same time the author created a book that is so cozy it felt like such a warm hug all of the fall things Gilmore Girls pumpkin spice lattes apple picking fall festivals romance all of the coziest references all of the fall references that you can think of this book had it's a YA romance and it was sweet as hell there was this one scene that just was everything when what was at the grocery store and she was experiencing pain from her pcos and the love interest shows up and stops everything takes her to the hospital i don't want to spoil more but there's just such sweet moments in this and when this ends it just feels like it ends on a hug you're in it for the ride for the romance as wit is going around trying to just figure out what the hell is going on with her pcos but at the same time she's trying to hang out with her friends love her body fall in love plan a fall festival for her high school it's a beautiful second chance romance that doesn't take itself so seriously if that makes sense like both of the characters end up laughing over what ended up pretty much separating them it's just a warm hug you won't regret reading this book it is so sweet and cozy and so lastly moving on to the book that i'm currently reading and that is this short novella right here under the mistletoe by leonor solis and it says two holiday grouches planning their town celebrations what could go wrong this is my first time reading any of these authors books but i'm so excited because she is a therapist who writes romance as a fellow therapist we love to see it so i am excited right now i'm currently page 15 so i haven't read too far but so far where i am in the book the two main characters met for the first time in their little town hall meeting and they are both grumpy as hell and so to read you the back synopsis really quick it says planning my hometown's annual christmas celebration is bad enough having to do it with a hard to resist grump is even worse when my injured sister guilt trips me into organizing the town's holiday celebrations only a week after moving back home all i want to do is survive the season nurse my bruised heart and start my life over now i have to co-chair a christmas committee with a grouchy man i've never met also this cover you can kidding me i cannot wait to keep reading this but that is it for the little book segment in this video i'm gonna go ahead and get to watching some christmas movies and cleaning let's go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand And watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And then while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire 
Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Ooh, I'm making plans for what we're gonna do. I feel so blessed that I can be with you. Cause God knows that I've been longing for you. I just wanna hold you close. You know the stars are shining just for you. Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon. Let's till we reach a place we can stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas Okay everyone, so I am done cleaning And it is really dark outside Because it's currently going to be 6pm The house smells like fabuloso And it smells like pure nostalgia This is the first time that I bought that spray To be able to dilute And oh my goodness, that's going to be a staple Because it smells like childhood It reminds me of my abuela and my mom cleaning On the weekend, so good I'm going to end the video to start a new one So I will catch you all In my next video Thank you all so much for watching. Stay nice and cozy, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye. Mm -hmm.